What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another motherfucking video, man. Clutch TV back up in this bitch. Oh. You feel me? You already know what the fuck about to go down up in here, man. We're gonna get straight to it, man. Check this out. So, um, we got this motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me go ahead and open this box. But as you guys can tell by the video, man, I mean, by the video, by the title of this video, you feel me? I'm gonna be changing out the knock sensor on this motherfucking KA, you know? Um, my bad, y'all. I'm just trying to show y'all what this shit look like. For y'all, for those who don't know what a knock sensor looks like, um, it looks like this, you know what I'm saying? I pulled this one. I pulled this one out of that motor just to check and see um, how bad does it look. And this one looks pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna take that screw out real quick. You see how it's all cracked up? You know what I'm saying? It's not supposed to look like that at all. So this one was need a replacement regardless. Um, the one that came out of this motor, it's in the house because I was taking pictures of it, but this is a new one, man. Came with the harness and everything. Super clean as it should. And um, it goes right here on the side of the damn block, down up in there. Um, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, so I'm not even gonna show y'all. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna change the um, the fuel filter, man. This is a Z32 fuel filter. Um, it's crazy because I did it recently, just changed one, but I changed a fuel filter out, as y'all can see it down there, right here. It looks brand new, because it is brand new, but that's just like another, you know, KA fuel filter, you know what I'm saying? So it's smaller, the Z32 one is a little bigger, and that's what that's what uh, people recommend when you're going boost, or just for, you know, I guess better fuel economy, or however you want to say it. But this one's a lot bigger, you feel me? That way it won't clog up. I don't think mine's just clogged up or anything, but it's just a upgrade I need to do. Um, and I think it's gonna solve, hopefully solve the bogging problem that I'm having. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's get straight to it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out. I might time lapse it a little bit, or I might time lapse me doing the uh, fuel filter because I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to put this damn knock sensor in. Hopefully not too long because it's a tight spot, but it came out easily. So hopefully it's gonna go back easily. I read on the forums that it's hard, it's harder to put it back in. So. Um, Man, let's see if I can knock it out. I believe I can, so we're gonna get straight to it. I see you guys when I put that motherfucker in. All right, y'all. Man, god damn. So, I was fighting with that shit to get the damn boat on for like hours, my nigga. So I had to run to Home Depot and go get this joint set, man, because I swear to God, it's impossible to thread that shit back in there like straight, because it's kind of like, like has an angle, so Hopefully this shit right here will help me angle it and get this shit in the threads, man. So we finna get back up in there. Man, fucking finally, bro. Finally got that shit in there. So if you guys, any of any anybody that has a KA24DE and they need to replace a knock sensor, make sure you have one of these joint things because this shit helped out a lot. I literally tried over 10 times without this, with just like a straight socket on it, and I was fighting with that shit. Went to the store, went to the Home Depot and bought this. My first, second try, I got it in. I couldn't believe it, like it's just crazy. Like so, invest in some tools, man, and get you one of these fucking joint things, cause this shit will come in handy. Um, I got the motherfucker in there, I just gotta plug it in, and pretty much do that motherfucking fuel filter, and I'll be done, man. I've been out here all fucking day. It's, I got off at work, let me check the time real quick, cause nigga, I got off at work at fucking two. It's 6.14 right now. That's how, that's how long I've been out here. Look, look at my hands, you feel me? Like, I ain't give up on it, man. I knew I was gonna get it done, and I did. Enough with the bullshit talk, man. Um, let's knock out this fuel filter, man, and uh, we'll go from there. Y'all got the damn, the, uh, filter on there as y'all can see the old ones in here that motherfucker's leaking fuel so i just chunked it in a bucket so i guess now we just about to fire it up man i got everything about to back on fuel pressure regulator back on 
I hope that damn knock sensor is on pretty tight because it's tight. I didn't I didn't want to strip it, so I hope it's on on. So man, we're gonna go ahead and just fire this motherfucker up. Hopefully it'll start back up like fire up like ASA like fast, you feel me? I hope it don't take no damn time. So uh, I'm tired as fuck, man. I've been here all day. Let's just get straight to it, man. I think I got everything tight. Yeah, I'll let it primed up. Let's see if she starts. faster than usual let me face this way it didn't take like five minutes to start so um i'm gonna let it warm up again i'm gonna let it warm up and i'm gonna take the timing real quick see if the timing is good and uh we're gonna go test drop it real quick so let it warm up and we'll be back you too man this is the next day you feel me we're finna get straight to it man um we're about to go take the car out for a spin real quick and see if it really hits boost, man, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we finna mount you guys right in the back where we did last time, and we finna see what it do. So we gonna start a time lapse right about now. see it does hit boost now you feel me so we are good man I'm happy as hell 
Sorry for that. Uh, the camera kind of fell down and went sideways. Damn, girl. What's happening? But yeah, man. You gonna put it down here? Yeah, zip it up. Just zip it up. Sorry. Yeah. Zipper at. Oh. Yeah, yo. Damn. Dang, look at my shirt. What? So bright. Them titties looking big. Alright. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Um, I guess that was one of the problems, man. Shit, I changed out the uh, knock sensor and the fuel, the fuel filter. So I don't know. It all makes sense. It all kind of makes sense now with the fuel filter, cause um, when I would get in the boost back then, it was going lean. It wasn't getting enough fuel. So now that I got a bigger fuel filter, it's getting more fuel now. So I don't know why I should have been upgraded the damn fuel filter. I don't know why I bought a another one. Like I said in the last couple clips, I don't know if I said it, but um, someone on Instagram did tell me doing a Z32 filter, fuel filter, well, well this is just, you know, a way better um, upgrade, man, way better than the OEM, and it's a lot bigger, so. Car's running good now, it's not misfiring, it's not breaking up under boost, you know what I'm saying? It running good, the time is good, so I guess we good, man. I do need to get a fucking full exhaust, though. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, no, this video is done, finally. Thanks, you guys, for watching. See you guys in the next video. And peace. I'm out.